Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has rolled out Windows Update KB5012643 to insiders in the release preview channel ahead of the optional updates public rollout. And in case you were unaware, the release preview channel is basically where the latest preview build and version of Windows 11 is tested before that version and build of Windows 11 rolls out to the general public as the next stable version of the operating system. And this uh, latest optional update, 5012643, which has been tested now by insiders, will be rolling out as the next optional bug fix update to the stable version of Windows 11 in the next week or so. Now, if we just head to the release notes for KB5012643, which pushes the um, OS build of Windows 11 now in the release preview channel to 22,000.651. And the uh, OS build of the stable version is sitting at 22,000.613. So when this update rolls out in the next week or so, it will push the stable version's build to 22,000.651 as seen in the release notes. Now, um, this is a bug fix update and contains many improvements according to these release notes and I have just highlighted some of the key changes and improvements for easy reference in this video and I will leave a link down below uh, to these release notes if you'd like to go check them out more in depth. Now the first year is there's a new little add-on where Microsoft say they've added improvements for servicing the secure boot components of Windows and then there's an issue that was causing the APX deployment service to stop working after you installed certain MSRX apps. That has been addressed. And there's a race condition fix here that was causing a blue screen of death where they say they fixed a race condition that occurs early in the startup process that might cause a stop error, which is a blue screen of death. And then we improved the autopilot client to process updated trusted platform module TPM capabilities that support self-deployment and pre-provisioning scenarios. And here's the second mention of a startup fix where Microsoft says they fixed an issue that delayed the operating system starting by approximately 40 minutes. And that's quite a major bug fix that's been addressed where it was taking some um, uh, operating systems of Windows 11 40 minutes to boot up so I think there are some users who will be happy um, regarding that bug fix and then there's a memory leak issue that's been addressed they fixed a memory leak that affected Windows systems that were in use 24 hours each day of the week so that's been fixed and then there was an issue that affected the dynamic host configuration protocol DHCP that's been addressed and fixed as well. And then we're almost there, one or two more to mention. And there's an Internet Explorer mode fix where an issue that affected the title attribute in Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode has been addressed. And there's a video subtitle fix. And there's a, a Kerberos authentication issue that was um, causing the authentication to fail. That has been addressed and fixed. And then the last one worth mentioning for this video they say that we fixed an issue that caused Windows to go into BitLocker recovery after a servicing update. And I will, as mentioned, I will leave um, this uh, web page down below for you to go check out more in depth. And um, as mentioned, this will be the next optional update, KB5012643, rolling out to the stable version um, in the next week or so. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.